hey guys what's up welcome back to another video so in this video i'm going to show you how to use xgs in your react application so xgs is basically used to make http request from the rest api so it's basically used to interact with the uh, back end so i'm going to show you how to use xgs in your react application so let me create one React application. So I have already created one React application using using npx create React app, and let me run the React application first. Let me close everything here, and let me open the edgeus demo after js. So let me clear the header first. And let me write XGS demo here and see this is the output here so let me remove this logo as well so that we won't get any warnings and let me go to the terminal and let me go for XGS demo and here we have to install one dependency and for that you need to type npm install xgs just type npm install xgs so it will install the xgs in your react application and next thing you need to do is just go for one website and it's json placeholder just type json placeholder and enter so you will be directed to this website and here you can find lots of fake data and i will be using this users so this is a fake rest api so we will be just uh, you know getting these data into our react application so this is our fake api so let me copy this let me copy this link so that we could use here and let me create one component and let me call it xgs demo.js and let's create one let's create one class component rcc so this would create one class component and let me import the xgs so to import xgs let me write import xgs from xgs so this is the dependency we have just installed before and let me start writing the code so first i need to initialize the state to empty state so i will be just creating the state and i will initialize with the empty array and let me give the names like persons so we will be uh, grabbing the name of the persons from this rest api so i'm initializing the persons with empty array and next thing is we need to give the lifecycle hook and the name of the lifecycle hook is component did mount and after using this comp uh, react lifecycle hooks we will be using xgs so xgs which we have imported here xgs dot get so this get is a http uh, method so used to get the data and we will copy the link we have copied from json placeholder and we will give the dash here and this should this should work so this this is the link we have uh, just copied and we will just type dot then and we will give the response and we will make the error function here and let me define the const person and this should give the rest data so this data is coming from here so this data for this data we will be uh, giving the this dot set state we will say the state of persons 
persons and we will grab the data into here so we will grab the data like this dot state dot persons and we will make a map for grabbing the and grabbing the uh, arrays the person we will make one arrow function here and inside here we will be giving the name of the person dot name so we will grab the names so this let me run this application i have already in 2000 and if i see here if i see here okay i need to import it here as well and lgs demo and if you see here let me refresh this one so i can see all the names here similarly if i want to grab the username or email i can do in similar fashion so let me do this one let me just give this one person and likewise let me remove this on order list likewise if i want to give if i want to grab the email so let me write email so i should write person dot email now this should work fine so if i see my react application i can see person and email yeah so these are the persons and these are the emails i can also write like this so i to make the code redundant let me write like this email and if i write here person dot email so this should grab all the emails right here so this is how you grab the data from using XGS from backend thank you so much for watching